Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Arndt, violin professor at the Rudy E. Scheidt School of Music at the University of Memphis. Today I'll be talking a little bit about tips for preparing your excerpts for All West. Uh, this one we'll be talking a little bit about the Schubert Symphony Number no. 8 for 11th and 12th grade. A few things that you'll want to take into consideration as you're preparing this are articulation, dynamics, and intonation. Those are going to be three big ones that are they're looking for in this particular excerpt. For the bow stroke on this excerpt, you're going to want to have a very relaxed uh, bow hold as you're working through this. And you're going to want to find that exact spot in the bow that uh, moves in the way that you want it to for the sound. So uh, this is going to be probably right above the, the balance point. Right on it might be, you might start crossing into the too low of a bow, but right above it you're going to be in a good spot. So it's going to kind of feel more like this. The, and you're going to be able to just very relaxedly move your, your bow hand. Bring a little bit of a close-up here. That's one thing to consider. The other thing you're going to uh, need to add on top of that is dynamics. You're going to want to prioritize your articulation in terms of where you are in the bow, though. Uh, so make sure that when you're getting louder, you're not moving to the frog, because that's going to change your entire articulation. But you can, what you can do is you can spread further out from that center point that you're going to be on for the articulation. So if piano or pianissimo at the beginning is... If you're getting louder... You're going to maintain that same relaxed approach and you're going to kind of think of it like there's a gravitational pull in that one spot and even as you get wider it's going to stay around that one area even on the uh, sforzando when you have the you're going to just kind of pop it just a little bit extra for that now for intonation when we're talking about that uh you're going to want to prioritize your hand frame a little bit of a close-up here as well. Uh, there's, a, there's a number of different fingerings you can use, but I, whenever you're kind of moving out of position or even a little bit slightly out of position, you're going to want to make sure that you're not reaching back with your hand like that, but rather the whole hand kind of follows through. So, so you'll notice that, I'll do this from this angle too. So my hand frame is keeping the same way throughout this whole thing. I might move just a little bit back and forth, but I'm never reaching back with the hand and messing up the, the way that my wrist is setting up and supporting down to the elbow. One more little suggestion in your practice for, the, for this excerpt, you can actually give yourself some help with uh, kind of slowing down the notes versus keeping up with the same bow stroke so that you're learning both at the same time basically by doubling the amount of 16th notes that you're going to be moving with. So instead of doing do doubled with the it gives you a chance to keep moving on this and keep getting better and better with that bow stroke while your fingers are going to be moving a little bit slower so that you can catch up with that um, I would do that in small sections. You could do it for the whole thing to really get that, and then uh, move over to the to the the real way that it's written with the. I hope this video helps you out and wishing you happy practicing and preparation for your auditions.